Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are watching Remstar Says So. I'm going to get straight into this, guys. Oh, my goody gosh. I know I said I wasn't going to watch AJ versus Miller, but Jesus, that press conference had me in bits. Jerome Miller has just called Anthony Joshua's whole card. He's shown AJ that he don't give two shits who he is. He got straight. Let me tell you how this kicked off if you guys haven't seen this. They get called out. Jerome Miller's on the stage first. And then AJ, Jerome Miller gets claps in that. So he's obviously got a couple of fans in that. In the um, <laughs> He's got his fans in the, in the stage, um, in the crowd. AJ comes on stage and I literally hear like two claps. And it's probably like Barry Hearn and Frank, whatever his name is, that works for Metroom. Uh, literally, funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, as soon as they come face to face, as soon as they come face to face, what? Jerome Miller straight up in man's boat, like bam, Iron Man up, looking at him like you ain't shit. Um, pushes man in his chest, sends AJ flying. AJ's looking around like, where's Carlos? Where's Carlos? All my grand fans, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and then AJ, AJ sees that he ain't got his backup that he had the first time these men had a face to face, um, and he's looking for Eddie Hearn to sort of shield him because um, he just generally didn't want it. I think AJ got, I think AJ's feathers got a little bit rustled. Like this might be the first time um, where you're looking at AJ, where you've actually got a guy coming who believes he can take his head off, who believes he can win. Now, my prediction for the fight is going to remain the same. You've probably already seen my previous video um, <laughs> where I said I think AJ takes him out sometime between about 6 and 9. But I think that this is 1-0 to Miller. I think Miller might have won the psychological games. Miller was just golden AJ, golden AJ, golden AJ. And it looked for a point where AJ might have sort of flipped the reversal and got into Miller's head. But no, nah, like... One thing I can say about Jerome Miller, once he packs in this boxing malarkey, Vince McMahon is going to be on the phone because he can sell. He can talk on the mic and he can put himself over. Uh, all my wrestling fans, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Jesus, like literally, Jerome Miller's talking about AJ's mum, how AJ's mum likes big belly guys, how he's eating cheeseburgers and he don't need to train too hard because AJ's a pushover. AJ started being a bit fruity, talking about the size of his hands, saying that Miller's got small hands and he's the weakest puncher in the heavyweight division. Like, let's be honest, <clears throat> Jerome Miller is not the weakest puncher in the heavyweight division. There are many a man who are a lot shitter than Jerome Miller. I mean, AJ won his belt off of a guy who was dead in Charles Martin. Um, so let's not start saying that Jerome Miller is the weakest guy in the division. I still expect AJ to win, but... I feel like Jerome Miller sort of calling his whole card. Jerome Miller was talking about AJ being a so-called gangster when he got caught with two ounces of weed and pre pretending like you're this reformed guy. Da -da -da -da. Jerome Miller, he gave a story about himself and I think the crowd started to buy into him. He said for 18 years he slept on the floor with no bed. He said that he was below the cockroaches in the, in the rankings. Um, and I think Jerome Miller, he, he done everything that was required of him. Uh, everybody knows that Anthony Joshua has about as much charisma as a packet of ready sorted crisps. So this is a good thing that, you know, uh, you've actually got somebody who can sell this fight, who can get people to sort of tune into the to the zone and sign up for this fight. Um, and maybe you're going to get a couple casual fans who might have watched that press conference that are going to go and buy it on Sky Sports box office and whatever country box office it is in a, Australia and New Zealand, because I know that the AJ fights, um, the Oceana, whatever those people call themselves, they have to pay pay-per-view for AJ fights. So it's a crazy one. Like a couple of days ago, I was saying that I wasn't going to watch it because it was a waste of time. Now I'm saying, boy, <laughs> I can't wait for this. Like, I don't know. I, I need to see what the undercard's saying, because I believe that it's the same outcome regardless I still think that Miller's going to lose, but, you know, as these press conferences happen, as Miller keeps running his mouth in more and more interviews, it's just going to peak interest for this fight. And especially, I reckon Miller probably is getting some sort of percentage of the uplift 
it's in his best interest to keep getting under AJ's skin. And also, AJ's traveling for the first time. He's out of his comfort zone. Um, you know, maybe Jerome Miller going to send around the goons. Who knows? Should I ruffle his feathers a little bit? This is an interesting one. AJ claims that the only way Miller could win is by getting one lucky punch. But that doesn't make sense because if you're saying that he's not a puncher, if he beats you, that means that he beat you out of uh, fair and square tactics. It's not like, let's say, for example, if AJ was fighting Wilder and you could imagine that AJ could be lighting up Wilder with a combination and all of a sudden Wilder swings a big right hand. If you're saying that Miller doesn't have any power, so on and so forth, you're now, in my opinion, you can't say a lucky punch. Like That punch is meaningful because he has no power, so he's done what he needed to do. Um, as a whole, as I said, I'm keeping my prediction. Uh, but, yeah, that press conference has definitely added a little bit of cream to the coffee, if you want to call it that. Jerome Miller, um, he's really done a good thing at sort of selling himself and getting his message out there. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Hit like, hit subscribe, share, press that bell icon. You're watching Remstar Says So.